What's up, y'all? This is your girl Talia, and I'm back with another one. Now, look, y'all. Look, y'all. We just gonna get straight into this. Make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe. We about to get into this NL NLE Chopper and his ex, and we gonna see what's going on, what's going on, okay? So, make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe, and let's get into the video. Can you tell y'all? Sleep. How hard it is for me to sleep. Um. Yeah. Y'all. Why do people pick what well, okay. Why do people okay. <laughs> if you go through a breakup, why do people the first thing y'all people do is pick up the phone and go live? And talk to some people that really don't want to, don't really even care about how you feel. They just want to be in your business. Comment down below and just let me, let me know why. It, it's reality because this was not my reality a week ago. I can't tell y'all. So, okay, let's go, let's go to the other one. Okay, so NLE Chopper said, I am single. I'm man enough to admit I'm not ready and I have some growing to do. Okay, so you can't tell. Okay, so let's let's see what else. Do, do they have another video? Oh, no, they ain't got another video. Y'all, I don't. Y'all. This right here. Look. This right here, I'm going to tell y'all this. This is going to be a quick little simple video because honestly, I just don't understand. First of all, let's just go back to, you know, he said, I am a single man. I'm man enough to admit I'm not ready and I have some growing to do. Okay, so, and then the headlines say, NLE Chopper X say she hasn't been able to sleep or eat since Chopper sent her packing. So, it's just like, honestly... First of all, do not come on camera. This, this this is just a little advice, you know. I I'm no I'm no Dr. Phil, okay? But this is just a little bit of advice. When you go through heartache and breakups and uh, situations with loved ones, do not come on this internet. Don't come on the internet because you know what happened. You expose some stuff. And now you allow people that don't care for you, your well-being, or how you truly feel to now have opinions on what's going on. Now, one thing for sure is, I believe that what he tweeted is cool. Like the man said, look. I'm single. I'm man enough to admit that, and I'm not ready. So, girl. And then on top of that, I, no lie, I watched a little bit because he has a response video about how um, how this because he was like, well, she wound up going live and put this out here. So let me defend myself and let me tell y'all what's really going on. And he did it and you know he been trying to keep his stuff private. So I did see that is on his YouTube. Go go check out his YouTube. But in that he was saying how like when he first got with her that he let it be known like I'm not ready for love. Let's just build this off of friendship. But I'm not ready for love. And he said he kept on talking. Look. And he was like. He saw her falling in love with him. And he was like. Look. I'm not ready for no love or real serious serious. So I have to be up front with you. Now I think that's respectable. If that went down like that. I think he did the right thing. And then he talked about how. He, he had the conversation with her. Like look. It's certain things that I'm looking for a lot. I don't believe that I'm just going to marry one woman. So if we even do get into a, you know, serious relationship and it, and it elevates to something even more, but, um, more as marriage, you have, are you okay with being 
in a polygamous relationship because that is what he's uh, going towards. So if you're having these conversations you up front in the beginning, it's up to you as a woman to make the decisions. Are you willing to go through the face of him? Because this is the thing. If you ready for love, and then on top of that, let me just go back. He also was saying at the time that he, you know, talked, slid in her DMs or whatnot, that she just got out of a breakup. So it took her long to even respond. And when he, and then when she did respond to him, they started building this friendship or whatnot. So let me fast forward. If a man is saying, hey, I am not ready for this. I just want friendship. Maybe some friendship. Make it more like it feels like a relationship, but it's not a relationship. Not all this, you know, what you call it. As a woman, it's up to you to say, hey, what am I looking for? Am I willing to deal with that? Am I willing to deal with my feelings? If I start feeling for you, am I able to still feel for you and not take it to another level knowing you're not ready. And I think as a woman, you got to take accountability. If a man is telling you, hey, look, I'm not ready. You don't go in that relationship and then you about to change his mind. If he's saying he's not ready and you ready for a real serious relationship, then you go find a man that is ready for a real serious relationship. Don't go into no relationship and be like, oh, okay, yeah, okay, I can do that. And then when you get into it, then you start falling for him and and he's still on the same type of time. Like, girl, I'm not ready for no real relationship. Don't go into that as if you going to change his mind because you differ from the other girls. No, ma'am. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you have standards up front, if you know exactly what you want, go for exactly what you want. Do not settle for certain stuff because you know why? You get this girl crying on the internet, talk about she can't sleep or eat because they done broke up. But if he let you know up front, shout it. Right now, in this current moment, the man that I am right now, I want friendship with a little benefits, but I do not want love, commitment, decommitment because I'm working on myself. And we already know that uh, NLE, NLE Chopper been trying to work on himself. He became more spiritual, just trying to get him together. And when you start talking about trauma and, you know, he lived in the streets and stuff, that's not just no... I, I'm going to say for maybe the last two years, he's been trying to get on track. That takes, that's deep. You talk about some deep healing that he got to go through. So if he's still healing, he's letting you know up front. Do not be going into no relationship as if, okay, I'm going to change his mind. Girl, you can't change his mind. You can't change his mind. And I think sometimes as human beings, we set, we, we tend to set up our own selves. We kind of, we kind of bring a lot of this hurt and pain on our own selves because it be right there in front of us. Like it is what it is. Like we know what it is, but then we sometimes try to go into a situation, feel like we could change somebody. We could change this. We could change that. And God damn it. You can't change nothing. The only thing that you responsible for, the only thing that you can change is yourself. You cannot change no man. You cannot change no woman. The only thing you is responsible is yourself yourself and then on top of that if you was coming out of a serious relationship and then you know what i'm saying sis did you truly heal from your last relationship did you truly sit down take some time and self-love because he's talked about how when they were just in the front you know just talking as friends he said hey you need to work on self-love the fact you're not gonna be no no good to no one else if you don't have self-love. Did you go do that self-love? You know what I'm saying? Before you start trying to love on somebody else. That's a problem. We be going in relationships and don't be loving ourselves. But expect somebody to love us. Or you go into a relationship and expect somebody to Hey, Hey, this is who I am. Deal with it. Who wants to do that? Like, we have to come into these relationships and being exactly what we asking for. If you asking for a man to be 
XYZ, sis, you need to be XYZ too. Don't come up in this goddamn relationship and be requesting you gotta have this, you gotta have six figures, you gotta have that, 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 but you ain't got no six figures. You can't be asking a man for 800 credit score and you got a 590. No, ma'am. Become what you asking for because you know why? If, if any of my spiritual people, you going to vibrate that. So if you vibrating, you got your stuff together, your finances together, you heal, you go to therapy, you eating right, you feeling good, you got you got all these things gone for, you going to attract the man that got the same qualities. Because the same, he going to be attracted to you. You know why? Because he going to see you like, oh, she got this, that, 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 that. That's, that's what I'm looking for. You going to attract the man that you looking for. The same way, if you if you had a if you kind of right here, you kind of kind of heal, you kind of this, you kind of that, you might get a kind of type of nigga that he kind of like this, he kind of like that. You gonna attract who you trying to attract, but one thing for sure, two things for certain: become who you need to be. Before you start trying to pour into somebody else. Before you try to start creating some of these bonds. And not to say you're going to go into things perfect. Because ain't nobody perfect. Everybody is always evolving. But however, don't set all these high standards. And you're not reaching what you need to reach. You're not taking time to love yourself. You're not going on your spiritual journey. You're not pouring into your love. Into yourself and giving yourself love. And speaking affirmations within you. Like you're not doing all that. Manifest what you want to manifest. Because this is the problem. This don't happen. She can't sleep. And she can't. This, this don't happen. Well, I'm not going to say it doesn't happen, but this type of how you went on the internet, this don't happen if you had some, some tools in your back pocket to help you, um, deal with these type of things for you. First of all, this don't really happen sleeping and not eating it. You, first of all, you don't get nobody that much power. That, that, that kind of just shows me, make sure, drop down below, comment down below if you, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Like, not sleeping and not eating, right? If this man say, hey, look, it's, this is becoming more than what I expected and I know I'm not ready for that. And I know if I keep on going on, if I keep on stringing you along, I'm going to break your heart. So let me step away from this situation before I damage you because I'm still damaged. I'm still trying to heal. So if that is happening, right? If somebody telling you, telling you that, right? I feel like this don't happen. Her coming out, crying on camera and all this stuff. If you invested in you, if you did not give all this power, you don't give no human being this much power to make you not sleep and not eat. Of course, you love this person, but you have to love you first. And yes, do, do you have emotions? And yes, do you hurt? Yes. But I feel like you should have some tools to make you be like, oh, look, no, this ain't for social media. Let me go within me. Let me go to my quiet place. Let me go meditate and let me go feel how I need to go feel. Let me get centered. Let me feel. And then let me ground myself and let me figure out what's my next steps. You see what I'm saying? Your next step should not be crying on social media. And now you got Tasha K and you got all these people commenting. Girl, sis, give. Uh, we, what she say? Sis, give. I don't have nowhere to go vibes. Like, it, like, girl, don't be posting yourself crying. Like, all these. And now you open yourself to too much. You open yourself up to way too many people. To give opinions. And if you had any friends in your corner. Or if you speak it to anybody or whoever. The best thing to do is go to your loved ones. If you got a best friend or something like that. Girl cry on the phone with them. Do not go to the social media. Social media do not give a <laughs> about no one. Okay. Or your feelings. Okay. And honestly I respect the fact that. He can acknowledge this because we have seen him where he done 
fought, allegedly have done certain stuff to women and it's, it's more on a toxic level, okay? So the fact that, you know, he has grown and you have to give people grace and you have to um, acknowledge the growth in people, the fact that he has grown, I agree with how he handled this. And then go to his YouTube and go watch the rest of that video about how it went down because of course, when you put this type of narrative out here, I can't sleep after I did it. Now it's like, oh, damn, what he did, he trying to, you know what I'm saying? Now you got all this. And he is, he has every right to come out and defend himself and be respectful. And in that video, he was respectful. She, he didn't call out the name. He said, I, she is, she's one of the best. That boy said he, she is one of the best people that he has been in a relationship for but he said he knew the type of love and the type of how it was going he wasn't ready for that as a person because he knows it's still a lot within him that he got handle. i think that's mature Man, comment down below if you think that was classy that's mature and that's how it needs to be handled because i think i don't fault him for nothing that he he did however that girl should have never even got on his social media and did that to me because it was private you know what i'm saying he didn't come out and start tweeting i'm a free man f that bit bop bop blah, blah, blah. he do that how these other people be doing he he it ended quietly you brought this stuff to social media and some you gotta just take your l and learn like you need to grow go sis just go sit and time out and go reflect and go dig and go search and go within you okay because no man sh no man should be having you not sleeping or eating and no woman should ever be having a man not sleeping and eating like we should not have we should not allow human beings or things to have that much control over us yes we are gonna feel and all that stuff but at some level we gotta have some balance and our emotions and we gotta okay why you know i should not be so in love to you I, like i should never be so much in love with you to where i make myself sick that's kind of toxic to me if, if y'all agree with me if that's kind of toxic please let me know i feel like if i'm so in love with you and something happened and i am sick I'm making my own self sick. I think that's a little toxic to me. Comment down below. Let me know what y'all do. But anyway, I'm done reacting to this. Look, girl, I pray. I wish you the best. Chopper, keep on doing, going on your journey. Get into And then, Chopper, I do want to let you know this. Hey, don't go into nothing. If you know that girl kind of want this, don't go into nothing. Go into things where people is on the same alignment with you. The people go, if you want polygamy at the end, at the end of that journey, get you somebody that's living that lifestyle, that knows about that lifestyle, that is willing to do that lifestyle with you. Don't try to convert people that ain't even witty. Try to convert them into that. That's a, mm, that's a whole lot of, whole lot of. Go who you vibrate. If whatever you vibrated, then that's what is going to come to you. But I think all together, yeah, it started at, at friendship. But deep down, you knew that this that she liked you. She was going to like you. And she was going to want to become more than friends. And if you just looking for friendship, it just needs to stop at friendship. And when I say stop at friendship, it, don't F your friend. Don't F your friend. Do not F your friend. If you just want friendship, don't F your friend. Now, if you want a friendship with with sex, then go get somebody like that. That you want sex and friendship. And they understand this is a friendship, but we just be having sex too. Okay? Get you one of them. Don't get you a friend that you already know and deep down, they don't want a relationship out of you. And then you give them sex and it's messy okay so make sure y'all comment like and subscribe i am out we do